Google has just released its new model for image creation, Imagen 4. Let's see how it compares to Midjourney and the ChatGPT image generator when it comes to image quality and prompt adherence. Let me show you what is possible with the new Google Imagen 4 model. If you know how to write the right prompt, you can actually achieve such impressive results. The best part, it's all free at least at the time of recording this video. You can create cool images like this pirate ship, inspired by Vincent van Gogh. This Spartan with his 300 warriors. Or even funny ones like this gorilla on a surfboard. All you need is a lot of creativity and the right platform. For this we use Google Whisk via labs.google. First enter deepmind.google in the search bar of your browser. Then click on Models in the navigation bar and select Imaging under Generative Models on the right. Once you have done this, you will be taken to this page. There we find the two relevant options Try in Gemini and Try in Whisk. In any case, do not use Gemini because it is not entirely clear whether the latest Imaging 4 model is also available there. I tested this extensively, created several images, and asked Gemini, Was this created with Imaging 4? Here is the answer. It says, I, Gemini, cannot make any statement about this. I'm only the LLM. I should work this out for myself. A bit strange, but okay. I then used the Try in Whisk button, and lo and behold, it worked. I was redirected to this website. Click on Enter tool there. Unfortunately, the platform is not yet available everywhere. Don't be surprised. This platform is a bit different from what you're used to work with. Let me put it this way. Everything is kept relatively simple and follows the label at the top left. There it reads, experimental. Now let's take a look at the user interface. There are various setting options at the bottom right. Use the dice symbol to create a random prompt. You have also the option to change the aspect ratio. The settings tab is crucial. Here you can switch back and forth between best quality and quality. If I now select quality, we see the label powered by Imogen 3. On the other hand, if I use best quality, powered by Imogen 4 pops up. So make sure to change the mode before starting to create images. On the left, we find another button, add images. This is a bit like mid journey. When I click on this button, a yellow dialog box opens on the left. There you can enter corresponding references, textual or visual, for the topics, subject, scene, and style. For example, I can upload my face into the subject box and this beach into the scene box. If you use these references, you can shape your results in a certain direction. Before we start the direct comparison with ChatGPT and Midjourney, I would like to show you the full potential of Imaging 4. The speed of image creation is truly unparalleled. I measured the speed. With ChatGPT, the image creation process takes between 30 and 90 seconds. With Midjourney, if things work badly, about 42 seconds. With Google Image in 4, on the other hand, it only takes a whopping 5.3 seconds. I have prepared a prompt for this test. Select an aspect ratio, here 16 to 9, and then click on Start. And there you have it, an old man in an extreme close-up. Of course you can refine your image further in a kind of iterative loop. Let me add the following to the prompt. In the style of Game of Thrones, fog in the background. You can see here that the new images are simply added underneath. In this project, you will then have your entire history. You could also further optimize images via refine or animate. If I now want the man to wear a helmet, I simply add it to the end of the prompt. And that's it. Okay, I didn't want a knight's armor, but rather something funny. Then I'll just add this. So, instead of the helmet, a yellow bucket. <laughs> what a brilliant job. <laughs> and then I want this particular helmet to be frozen. You really can't stop being amazed. The speed and prompt precision with which the images are created is something you won't find almost anywhere else. However, I must also add that this platform is not accessible to everyone. So it remains to be seen when Google will allow access to the image in four model worldwide. In any case, it is already very impressive. Let's now get into the direct comparison of different images. The prompts are sometimes complex, the results photorealistic or illustrative. 
I use the big players such as Imaging 4 from Google, the ChatGPT image generator, and of course Midjourney version 7. I always choose the same prompt for each test series in the three platforms. In the first example, we see a businesswoman. I have to admit the results of Midjourney are always characterized by a slightly richer complexity. Incidentally, this is a phenomenon that can be seen in all the images. Somehow you get the impression that Midjourney can or will always go that little bit further to make pictures even more lifelike. The first conclusion we can make, however, is the excellent prompt accuracy of Image in 4 and ChatGPT. What particularly speaks in favour of ChatGPT, I have created a separate tutorial on this topic, is the handling of styles. This means that ChatGPT follows the prompt extremely well. Whether in the style of South Park or the Chinese Cultural Revolution, or a North Korean propaganda style. In the next example, you can see a Lego figure. The picture from Image in 4 is the best for me. If we turn to the topic of landscape and style of a photographer, this is what we get. The requirement was, please realise it like the renowned photographer Ansel Adams. To be able to classify the entire idea correctly, I had a browse through perplexity. It says there, Ansel Adams is a specialist in black and white photography. In the case of the image animal and light reflection, we also get very good results with image in 4 and mid-journey. Unfortunately, the next example does not necessarily speak in favour of ChatGPT either. Midjourney has again included more details in the spider's web. Again, you can see what I said earlier. Midjourney always tries to be a little bit more. In the example of this pasta, the realisation of ChatGPT is also not ideally solved. It looks rather illustrative. In the course of this evaluation series, I experimented with a few more drawing styles. The first picture shows a painting of a ship in rough seas by J.M.W. Turner. The South Park style has a very special appeal. That's the reason why I used this style to illustrate this medieval ship. As a result, Image in 4 scores full marks. The style that Vincent van Gogh shaped is very unique. These bright brushstrokes make the painting particularly lively. This is where Midjourney stumbles. Somehow it has problems interpreting the definition of a style correctly. I tried three more themes. The first example shows a diver and a crocodile in crystal clear water. You can clearly see here again, Midjourney always goes that little bit further. In addition, I was interested in challenging the three platforms and purposely steering them in the wrong direction. In the specific example, my information on anatomy was deliberately wrong. The prompt reads, a hand with seven fingers and two thumbs. Image in 4 ignored the prompt and probably thought that I had made a mistake. Instead, the focus of the visualisation was on the word hand. Consequently, you can see its anatomically correct realisation. The prompt adherence of the ChatGPT image generator is, as expected, excellent. We see exactly seven fingers and two thumbs. The very last test shows an alien wearing my orange sweater with a blue collar. To me, the result from Midjourney is the best. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for listening. See you soon. Your channel, AI. Now you know.